when it comes to product development, we really have three key stages that we work on here, and we call those EV, mm -hmm. DV, mm -hmm. and PV. Yes. What the heck are those? Uh, engineering validation. That's going to be our first round, so we'll get an EV1. Sometimes we'll even get an EV2 sample. Uh, if we're not happy with the EV1 or if something is way off, but typically on EV samples, that's the very first, like I said, it's engineering validation. Things are somewhat rough. A lot of times the sample is a SLA, you know, so it's just for us to look things over and make sure that we can move forward and we feel comfortable with the project. So once it goes through an EV and we, we feel comfortable with the project, it feels like it's something we do want to make and develop. Mm -hmm. it, it ticks the boxes as far as, uh, you know, sounds good, it's manufacturable, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We move then on to DV. DV, which and that is, is design validation. Okay. Uh, so that's where we validate the design. And at this stage in the process, we've got something that's a little bit closer to, to how it's going to be in production. It should be getting really close to working. If something's way off acoustically, we've still got a little bit of time at this point, and we can get, a, a, instead of just, you know, when we start, we're at the DV1 sample, we can move over to a DV2. Sometimes we go into DV3. It just all depends on how um, well the sampling process goes and how good the samples are. So when that process, mm -hmm. as far as the DV, we're really honing things down, we're getting the bugs worked out, uh, all, whether it's fit, finish, software, acoustics, and then when we move on to uh, the last stage, which is? PV. What is that? Production validation. So it pretty much needs to be good to go at this stage. Every now and then we need to do a second PV run or maybe even a third. But by this time, the, the product should be, you know, well on its way to being mass produced and pretty locked in and dialed in. Now, my understanding, and, and you can correct me if I'm wrong because it's just my understanding, but my understanding is, is at the PV stage, is where we can actually, we may have something all the way done and it's ready and it's what we want to build and it's, we think it's great, but we find out that it can't be mass produced at the PV stage and so we still may have to make changes to make sure it can be mass produced and run down assembly line. Is that correct too? Yes, yes, definitely. So, so those bugs can be discovered. Yes, I mean we can find stuff in PV or sometimes our vendor might say, well if we make this slight change, it'll make it easier during our uh, uh, assembly process okay. or something along those lines. Okay. So yeah, we, we still have feedback, we still get feedback in PV. Um, it's not always ready to go, we still have time to make some changes. But after PV, it's MP, mass production. So mass it's gotta be good to go at that point. Uh, and in mass production, we're literally, we're writing a PO and we're ordering, we're ordering. We hundreds, usually thousands, do, tens of thousands, whatever it is. Yes, whatever projections are for that particular product. Yeah. Now, in doing all that process, you know, we. We develop everything here at Stillwater, and at Stillwater Design here in Stillwater, Oklahoma. We do it all here, but because we work with houses that do the development to our specs and standards, a lot of times, okay, here, we need to build this tool, and we need to get a part to test, and then we get the part to test and go, nope, that's not what we need, so now we need to modify the tool or build a new tool. And sometimes there's a lot of back and forth that goes on, and that back and forth, especially when you're dealing with someone who's on a different time zone or in a different country, can add a lot of delay to the process. Yeah, I mean, the shipping time, the, well, first we have to request it, and then there's the lead time, then they have to produce it, and then it needs to ship here. You know, so it can take quite a bit of time, and that can really drag the, the sampling process out. And the reason I wanted to cover those three, it's really four if we include the manufacturing run, if we, so it's actually the three is the development, and then we build it. Yeah. But I want you to understand those steps and understand those because we may talk about those different terminology through the process of doing this and understand how we go through development.